Hey everyone, um, I'm here to talk about a book that I just finished uh, called The Faith Instinct, How Religion Evolved and Why It Endures uh, by Nicholas Wade. The major strength of this book is that it makes the case for religion being a naturally occurring phenomena very well. It does not, repeat, does not engage in the discussion on whether God is actually real and focuses on the natural phenomena that gave rise to religion and religious practice in the first place. If um, I had to go through and pick all of the positive, pick out all the positive qualities and attributes of this book, uh, well, I'd be here all day. Um, it's very thorough, very straightforward, uh, easy to understand, um, and uh, yeah, it makes the case wonderfully. Um, there are only two criticisms I actually have of the book. Um, the first is that the author spends almost the entire book focusing on religion being a naturally occurring phenomena, and when he addresses what he refers to as new atheism, he completely skips on postulating a natural cause for that movement and seems to think that it's satisfactory to brush it aside simply by assuming and suggesting that all atheists are, well, ignorant of religion's natural causes and or when an atheist poses a natural cause for religion that they are posing only that one natural cause as the only natural cause for religion and the, its endurance and its spread. Um, some, some of this criticism is, uh, is fair, such as uh, in the case of Richard Dawkins suggesting that religion is caused simply by the parents passing it down to their children, but uh, other, cri other criticism of these, uh, of these suggestions are a bit of a stretch, and the author uh, jumps to conclusions based on his criticisms on several occasions without, uh, without um, providing justification, as far as I can tell. My second criticism of the book is that Mr. Wade fails to make a distinction between morality and moral value. Um, these are, there are several places in the book where he suggests that morality is determined by religion, which I think is the slight error and would have preferred it if he would have said religion is a source of moral value or values. Um, no one religion determines the morality of any given person, save perhaps some religious extremists. But um, And to say that religion determines morality is a bit of a stretch. Whatever moral value one derives from their religion, which may or may not be a good moral value uh, to another person of a different faith or of per to a person that lacks faith, um, it does not determine their morality entirely. It's only bits and pieces of it. Other than that, um, the author, Nicholas Wade, has done his research, and I found the book both enlightening and incredibly enjoyable. I, I really can't, can't recommend it enough. Up next is a book called uh, An Atheist Defends Religion by Bruce Sheeman. Sorry if I uh, butchered the last name. Um, uh, I'm only on the second chapter of the book itself, and um, I've got a few things to say. So, anyway, um, he'll be on uh, the Blog Talk radio show God Discussion on the 22nd of April, 2010. Uh, it should be a good show, to say the least. Uh, this Thursday, though, uh, join us for what should be a very interesting God Discussion when a man who received his doctorate in metaphysics from the Progressive Universal Life Church and is a practitioner of uh, Nostradamus Divine or Astrology or what he calls astropsychology, Dr. Louis Turi. Louis Turi, excuse me. Um, you can join us on the phone or in the chat room if, uh, if you can to ask your questions and make your comments, and hopefully you'll enjoy yourself. Uh, and don't worry, if you miss, uh, if you miss it, um, uh, all the past shows are, can be found on the God, dis the, uh, on the God Discussion website, uh, in the description box. Okay? Um, 
other than that, see you soon.